if you remember what I did in like probably six or seven months ago, somewhere around the lines of wherever uh, I did a video from a long time ago from, um, I did a video on this guy. If you remember his name, then you know what the title of that video is. Today, I'm going to be talking about him again. As of uh, now, I'm seeing a story from Inside Edition, which is one minute and 24 seconds long, saying that the 18 that the 18 year old hacker gets three years in prison for 117 thousand dollar scam so we're gonna take a look at this now scamming people out of their hard-earned money is always wrong and 18 year old graham ivan clark will face the consequences the twitter hacker pled guilty to 30 felony charges of communications fraud and other state charges in july 2020 the then 17-year-old Graham scammed more than $117,000 in Bitcoin by taking over the Twitter accounts of influential people, according to prosecutors. Tweets sent on the accounts of people like former President Obama, Tesla founder Elon Musk, Kanye West, Jeff Bezos, and more, promised anyone who would send them Bitcoin would have double that amount returned to them. This Bitcoin was designed to steal money from regular Americans from all over the country, including here in Florida. Tampa Bay Times reports by changing his original not guilty plea to guilty, Graham will be sentenced as a youthful offender, getting three years in prison and three years of probation instead of the 10 year minimum prison sentence he would have received if he was tried as an adult. Under this deal, authorities say he will not be allowed to use computers without supervision and permission from law enforcement. This is Inside Edition Digital. Yeah, as I was remembering the, the, the name of the guy who did this, I made a video on Graham Ivan Clark seven months ago because of all this. And because it had it had like positive reviews for four likes and one dislikes only and has wonder one views. I thought I'd make a new video up, up about this today because well I'm gonna give you my initial thoughts from what I said before and I'm gonna give you my current thoughts from what I'm going to say today. personally think about Graham Ivan Clark today is that well well back then seven months ago I did say that he should be offered a job and that uh, other people are just are just like hating on him because like they're jealous of his success it's kind of clear now that uh you know, maybe now, as an 18-year-old that he is, will probably have to serve a lifetime in prison, or at least, or at least 10 years, which is probably the solution that he is going to be in for the rest of his life now, because he did something that he probably shouldn't do. But at the same time, as I said before in this video, when I first made about Graham Ivan Clark, 
was that he was smart. And I believe that still. I believe he was smart enough to do this. But now, you know, I believe he was dumb enough to do it even more. I now believe that because if you're smart enough to hack Twitter, then you're dumb enough to to get caught. And, uh, you know, he, he got caught last time and now the verdict is finally in. He's probably going to be spending the rest of his lifetime in prison for a while. So, yeah. That's really about it. I... I was hoping... I, I was hoping and, like, pulling for the guy to, uh, succeed and, uh, to be free of the, uh, what the outcome of, of, of what's going to be today, but unfortunately, uh, he will have to accept it now and, uh, be a prisoner for a, a number of years to come.